Hey everyone, it's me, Alina, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Fire Red. Leaf left Peter City, Peter Museum, uh, Peter Museum of Science. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a bit of a recap here. So, uh, yeah, this video is gonna be a bit of a long one. We're just gonna do, like, a bunch of different battles. Uh, skip some battles we skipped, and we're gonna go back later, hopefully, to fight them, but I don't really know if we need to fight these ones, particularly. Because you can just skip that whole route that we're going to go to next. As you're going to see after uh, this finishes up. This wrap up. Okay. So we are going to basically skip route 4. Like entirely pretty much. I'm going to check... Uh, our bag, we don't have any rise or potions, so we're just gonna run across here. We might come back here, we might not, might not be worth it by the time we get back here. First of all, we're gonna take this item. Yep, roar. That's not too worth it, but I might come handy every now and then. Who knows? We're just gonna head on over here and uh, into Cerulean City. Cerulean City is the second. Uh, gym city that we're gonna come across. Not Bill, I heard he'll do whatever it takes to get those rare one. It's not above doing all that he wants. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemon maniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill though. Who one of us spot a Pokemon collection like that? So we're gonna heal up real quick. Just check in with the community center, the home center that is. And uh, yeah. Uh, today we're gonna take on Nugget Bridge, which is like the first like, major trainer gauntlet of like unskippable training battles one after another. So, we're gonna deal with Nugget Bridge real quick. Uh, so, starting, we're going to check out the gym here. That's a gym. We might come back later. We will, actually. We need to. We need to get all eight gym badges, as we typically do. So up here is gonna be an encounter with blue. Yo, Leaf, you're still struggling along back there. I'm seeing a great god button for strong home one. Here, let's see what you got, Leaf. Well, we got a Paris. That's not our two now, it's a Paris. We need an Og! So now, Pidgeotto. Go, Og! So to start, we are going to, uh... Send out Lizardon. He's gonna... Gust. You can't tell who's gonna tackle our Gust. Well, I guess. Ember. Critical hit. I uh, use Gust. Yep, Gust. Okay. Yeah. Almost down and. One more hit to do it. There we go. Pidgeot down. Mm hmm. Rival Green set out Swirtle. Now we're gonna not check our bag, we're gonna check our level one. Switch to uh, Og. Og should be able to handle this. They don't have a uh, grass type group yet, but they will get one, don't worry. It will happen soon. Uh, in a couple videos, that is that's what I mean by soon, but you know. Gotta stop using a super potion on Lizardon. It's okay, come on, you go ahead and uh, switch to uh, Lizardon. There we go, Tail Whip is okay. We're gonna start with the Melhua. Not very effective. Good to know, Me Steel does not do well against uh, water. That is good to know. He's got an ember. There we go. Not very effective, but a bit more effective. Tail whip, that's okay. We're gonna finish things off with the scratch. The previous scratch should do this. No. Let's just switch out real quick. Yeah, this is not looking good for the so we're just gonna switch out to uh Oko. So really use withdraw. Mm-hmm. 
Gonna start with the cry shop. Mm-hmm. Not dealing with all the damage because he's done slightly withdraws. Cry shop again. Gonna use water gun. Mm-hmm. There we go. One more time. Water gun. And there we go. There goes Squirtle. I get experience, I get to level 11. It's very good for Gog to level up. You need to level up Og as much as possible because they are our newest team member and they get started at a lower level. You need to level them up. So, sorry, no, we're going to switch up to Og. Get up some more free experience for them. Because Abra, at this point of the game, Green Dobber does not know anything besides teleport, which cannot do anything in Trader Battle. And it doesn't have any items at this point of the game either to use. So we can just wallop it with uh, our level soul Pokemon for free experience. And it's much uh, less painful than doing so with uh, Metapod or Kakuna, which always harden. Yeah? And down. And we are going to uh, do the rat attack here, one more attack here. A little Pokemon. Gonna switch to a uh, Lizard. Mm hmm. The attack is okay. We're gonna start with uh, Ember. There we go, one more Ember. Quick attack and Ember. And Rat is down. Who's gonna level it up? Play like level 18. Play with your Dollar Marine. Hey, take it easy. Who won already? Leaf got 280 yen for winning. Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That had a lot of pages of Modex. After all, Bills a Pokemon. He invented the Pokemon Sword System. Synergy System. You better. Go you're rolling. Smell ya. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. So yeah, I'll give you a little present of the fear. The fame checker. It's something unique to a uh, fire garden creatively. Try to go so like you. That thing's perfect. I don't need because I don't give a good about others. Alright, this time I really am gone. See ya. So we're gonna cut straight to the first fight on Nugget Ridge. Beat five trainers and get a fabulous prize, which we are going to do thusly. We start with Bug Catcher Hail. Sends up Caterpie. Go, uh, you, and we're going to switch up to, uh, Oko. I'm gonna start with the Fierce Wipes. Mm -hmm. There we go, Fierce Wipes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, Caterpie's painted. I uh, gain experience. Oh, gain experience. And next Pokemon. Weedle. Very sides again. There we go. Three times down. Oh, gain experience. Level 18. Sends out a Metapod. Switch back to uh, Og for some free experience. And we're gonna deal with this Metapod, and I believe he's also got a Kuna. So, yeah. Uh, we decided to go for a bug type that is a bug and grass type. Parrots. Parrots is a decent Pokemon. The grass type is a decent type. Bug is not so great, but. It com combined, it works pretty well, especially situationally, against uh, uh, Misty here. There's going to be a few members of Elite Four that'll use water types as well. This will be some of the too. Elite Four is the very end of the game. A little bit about Pokemon as a like, franchise. Mm. There are four main branches. We have the video game themselves, such as this. There's the Pokemon Adventure manga, there's the Pokemon series anime, and there's 
the Pokemon Training Card Game, which is the creation specifically of Creatures, the Pokemon Training Card Game, along uh, originally in conjunction with Wooden Ghost. Those are the four main branches, and I believe of the four, no, of, of the three that spawn from the games, the one that's closest and most faithful to the spirit of the games, and also the one that's most niche and the most, like, cult classic, as much as a cult classic as to be, is Pokemon Adventures. I used to grow up on reading the manga, loving it. It was one of my favorite manga series of all time. Uh, not the name of the guy who wrote it. Uh, but yeah. Pokemon Adventures, great manga. Great art by Mato. Uh, great writing by, uh, Pokemon Adventures. Uh, author. Alright, Hidenori Kusaka. That was the name. That's the guy's name. He's a very, very good mangaka, as they say. Manga creator. Mangaka. He and Mato is the artist. But uh, we are going to scratch him. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, Og is down. We're gonna send out Oko. Oko is our pinch hitter that can deal with a lot of stuff and take a lot of hits. Fairy swipes, there we go. It is down for the count. Okay, experience. And you send Blast sends out Oddish. We're going to various types. Mm -hmm. Absorb, yeah. So yeah. Uh this game really really released in 2004 as the uh, follow-up to Pokemon Ruby Sapphire and Emerald in 2002 for Ruby and Sapphire and 2003 for Emerald respectively. This and probably Green came out in 2004. And it was meant to be the first of two remakes. That was even then one. The second one, Let's Go Fusion Navy, were specifically remakes of Pokemon Yellow, which was a special edition that was slightly more filled with the anime. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this one is much more like a line, a line of the classic red and green and blue. And a bit about green versus blue. The North American and European blue and the Japanese green are the exact same version. Just a different name. And every time blue is said in the North American games, in Japan it's called they use the, in the term green. Uh, in the games themselves. Now, that means the green here is mostly based on Pokemon Blue. And then North American Fire is mostly based on Pokemon Red. There is Pokemon Blue in Japan that is its own special edition that has a mix of the original exclusive Pokemon of both Red and Green. That has never been localized officially in any form. However, the versions of Pokemon and the different root encounters are still different in Fire and Leaf Green compared to Red, Green, and Blue. There are differences, for sure, in the encounter and the a uh, few differences in the, uh, the version of the Pulp One. There are so many different little details about like which Pulp One or where and how in the different versions of Gen One, the many different versions of Gen One. I could go on for a long time, but I'll spare you the details. It's quite interesting if you want to look into it. Just look at Bulbapedia, uh, Kanto uh, encounters. You know, or something like that, and you'll be able to find so much different details. It's quite interesting and quite confusing at times, but that's okay. Oh yeah, we're finding Youngster Timmy, aren't we? So uh, yeah, how got how's guys lives been doing? Me, I've been getting back into like movie movies after having finished a couple shows. Finish a couple books, or getting close to finishing them at least. 
Um, and I'm getting back into the like, proper movies when I'm into shows. Stop flat. Okay, and we are going to fight this loss. I'm nerve horror, getting tired? Yes, we kinda are, but yeah, keep checking on. Keep checking on. Class really wants to fight send out meter in. Go. Og. I'm gonna start by switching to uh Oka because our good hitter or good tank. We can get a lot of good damage. Mm-hmm. We're gonna spray swipe him. Hit two times. Yeah. Neither in the case you didn't notice, this will see like a, a poisonous bunny. Don't ask me why in mammals they're poisonous. They're not supposed to be, except except for mom dreams. But Nidoran is a poisonous bunny. And then again, all Pokemon lay eggs, so even the male Pokemon are water dreams. That's just how it works. Okay, let's start the poison. We're gonna use an antidote. And the slash just has a couple meter in. They're quite common in the original Game Boy Gen 1. When the Game Boy Advance Gen 3 remake of Gen 1, neither are less common in the wild. A bit less common. And found in different routes. That's one of the differences between Gen 1 and Gen 3 Gen 1. We are going to uh, Ember. There we go. Mm -hmm. We're gonna ember one more time and down. And he's not down, we're gonna scratch. Oh, it's off, but we scratch him. It's gonna be experience, and we beat Lost Rally. 2k to 6 yen, and we're gonna fight one more trainer here. Okay, number five, I'll stop you. And here we have Camper. Ethan would like to battle. Ethan is also the name of the main character of uh, Golden Soldier. Uh, so that's a bit confusing if you ask me, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll use Scratch, there we go. Low kick, that's fine. We're gonna Scratch again. Mm -hmm. Scratch one more time. Mm -hmm. Scratch. We're gonna scratch one more time. This is leave it, living on a prayer here. Scratch there. We're going to uh, use a super potion. It's really risky, but we're trying to level up Og as much as possible, our little bug guy. Yeah, it's not gonna go with the poor bug guy. I'm gonna use a regular potion, I think. Yep. And we are going to... Come on, I'm at the edge of my seat here. Mm hmm Yeah, this is gonna do it for, uh, Og here. Mm hmm So we're gonna send out Lizardon. And we are going to Scratch. And he's down. Mm hmm. Thank you for your camp really. Whoa, too much. 360 yen. We're gonna cut right about there and congratulations, you beat our five contestant trainers. You're gonna find this prize. The leave us in a nugget. That's the nugget bridge. Prize. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're good professional criminals, especially in Pokemon. Wanna join? Are you sure? Come on, join. Tell you to join. Okay, and you're convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Yep, they're Mafia. Mm -hmm. Mafia, yeah, is kind of a mix of the two. He's gonna send out Ekans, and we're gonna send out our... Uh, Paris. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start by switching to, uh, Lizardin, and this should finish off the, uh, rival reptile.
in the sky. There we go. Crit! Okay, we crit the Ekans. Mm -hmm. Your access is okay. We're going to uh, Milva. And down. Ah, uh, gold out of 13. Even poison powder. It's gonna use a live coming up. She's lazy, so at least. We're gonna use Lagoon level 19. Sent out Zubat. And you are going to use. We're gonna switch out to, uh. Ugg. Mm hmm. You go ahead and uh, use Bleach Line. That's okay. Okay, let's just head over here. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, you get the idea of this game. It's. it's Back and forth, kind of three, three point, uh, like three, three D rock paper scissors. The three D rock paper scissors game. Um, it's probably more than three D, honestly. A lot of different types and stuff with advantages and advantages against others. It's just rock paper scissors with enough extra depth to make it actually a uh, much more compelling uh, for uh, actual game play. So we're gonna scratch it and down. Uh, Ogling like experience, losing experience. And we beat the Team Rocket Run. Arg! Foiled again. With the ability to become top of the air Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. So we are going to call it a day there. See you next time.